Hi, this is Pharmacist Curtis Alexander. In today's video, what I want to talk about is um, the use of melatonin and, uh, along with alcohol. Now, I had a question from a patient who um, likes to have a nightcap but is having trouble sleeping, said, I'm considering melatonin. Is that safe? Now, we have a number of different things at play here, and I want to touch first on the melatonin. Um, it's extremely popular. It's used all the time as a sleep aid, but as a pharmacist, not a huge fan of it, and for a number of different reasons that I'll get into here. So first and foremost, you have to remember that melatonin, unlike some other sleep aids, it's a hormone. And when you give somebody a hormone, it has wide ranging effects. So the feedback I've gotten from patients um, with melatonin hasn't been the best. It tends to cause weird dreams, and cause nightmares, obviously not the maybe the best thing for sleep in the world. Um, the other thing that goes on is when people do take it, they tend to dose it quite a bit higher than what you would see naturally occurring in your body. Melatonin, when it gets dark outside, your body will secrete melatonin from the pineal gland, and that can happen uh, it, you know, your, your melatonin concentrations peak early in the morning. If you follow regular sleep hours, say two to four in the morning, you get this surge of melatonin. But with the doses that most people take, um, it produces very high levels of melatonin, which again can lead to some of those side effects that we talked about. So if you do decide to take melatonin, I would keep the dose low, particularly when you're starting out one milligram or less. Um, so again, that's one thing to keep in mind with melatonin. Now, going to the alcohol component, if somebody comes to me like this patient did and says, you know, I have a nightcap, but I'm having trouble sleeping. First and foremost, we got to, we, we have to address the alcohol issue. I drink, I don't have any problem with somebody having a drink at night, but if your sleep is suffering, Alcohol may be one of those things that either has to go or you're going to have to move it up earlier in the day because the closer alcohol is taken to bedtime, the more issues you tend to see. So um, that's first and foremost. If, if the alcohol issue is moved up and you don't have sleep issues, uh, fine. If you do, then we can discuss adding something else on. Speaking of adding something else on, I, I recommend this a lot to people who have sleep issues. A, get your lifestyle dialed in, and, and I'll make another video for some of the lifestyle issues that you have to have with sleep. But secondly, the product that I, it's, it's actually a product I personally use, it's called Naturally Calm. Um, and I'll link to that in the show notes, but it's magnesium chloride. A lot of people in the world, particularly in the United States, have low levels of magnesium in their body and magnesium is a natural muscle relaxer. So when you take it, you'll find that you'll, you'll lie in bed and you almost feel like if you've ever had a surgery and the anesthesiologist is putting you out, it's almost that feeling of the muscles relaxing and, and going to sleep. So it's a product that has few side effects unless you dose it too high. Magnesium can be used as a laxative. So that's at higher doses. The dosage that I use and that I recommend patients use for sleep with magnesium is two to 300 milligrams about a half hour before bedtime. Um, and you can even take it up to 10 minutes before bedtime. So I find that to be a better option than melatonin, but rather than looking at, can you take it with alcohol? You have to address, you know, A, is alcohol the culprit of the poor sleep? Uh, if it's not, does it make sense to add melatonin on? You can keep the dosage low, less than one milligram to start with and don't take melatonin long term. Finally, uh, maybe consider other options over the counter uh, and I think magnesium chloride is a good one. So again, pharmacist Curtis Alexander, if you have any questions, uh, you can list them in the comments. Go to my website, curtismalexander.com. If you got some value from this video, like it. I'd love to see you subscribe. Uh, I'd appreciate it. So again, until the next video, this is Curtis Alexander. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.